my kind of social life. My job was threatened. I was kicked out of my house. Uh, <laughs> I can't walk in a store without somebody pointing and talking and, well, is that him? And should we do this or should we do that? People calling down to the restaurant want to know who's cooking. And, uh, it's, it's not fair. It never has been. Rumors spread like wildfire in a small town. And in many cases, even the truth won't stop their spread. In White County, rumor had it that Neil Mosier, a Doyle restaurant worker, had AIDS. Before long, business in the Doyle Cafe began to drop. People are wanting to know who is cooking, and if Mosier was in the kitchen, they didn't want to order. After two negative AIDS tests, the rumors continued to fly. After he was kicked out of the Sparta Hotel he was staying at because of his disease, he at the Sparta Exposit he finally attempted to spell the rumors. Well, it started coming in less and less on the night shift and asking all kinds of questions. So we, uh, we want to let it die down to start with. And uh, for everyone out of town, it's, it died down for a and then it started back up one of our best customers from one of the main plants down here. And uh, we decided to go ahead and go public. I've had two tests taken in the last month, and both of those came back negative, not to mention the ones I'd had prior to that, which always come back negative. And it's just, it's, <laughs> it's ruined everything I've had. I think everybody's beginning to sleep now if there's nothing wrong. And they know I wouldn't hire somebody that's got AIDS. Now, your boss could have fired you when the problems first started happening. Just he could have. Bad for business. Well, I offered to quit and he wouldn't let me. I offered to quit and he wouldn't let me. And Sharon said, no. She said, if you run from this thing, it's going to make it look like you're guilty. And she said, well, this, you know, we'll try to stick it out and we'll hopefully it'll die down business hurt really bad? This last month it was, yeah. Well, Neil, I think he's about right at five months. That's how hard he knew. And he promised me he'd be here every day. I was having trouble keeping anybody here that would come in every day, and he's been here every day, and, and he's done, you know, more than I asked him to. He's the place clean, spotless. He's a real good cook and a hard worker. Then the first thing this thing started, the other guy come in, he asked me, he said, you know your cook's got AIDS? I said, well, I didn't think so, you know. I know. So I approached Neil, I told him, I said, the guy comes in here, you know, and, and he asked me, do I know his, this is supposed to be a friend of mine, you know, and he's telling me out of confidence, you know, he called me out back, said, I don't want nobody else to hear it, but this is what I heard. So when Neil comes in, I confront him with it, I said, you know, so-and-so, I told him who it was because he didn't ask me not to tell him. I said, he said that he was told and he was not trying to cause trouble. He just thought I ought to know it and said that you had AIDS. And he, Neil said, he got all, all upset. He said, well, if you'll let me off, I'll go get checked. And I said, well, I'll let you off. And he said, I'll quit if you want me to. I told him, no, I don't want you to quit because you've done everything. And, and if it's not so, I mean, it's just not fair to let anybody go because somebody tells a lie on them. You know, it's just no way that can be fair. Now, I don't know that, that the AIDS deal is what's caused it, but this has been a bad month. We're at least $3,000 short of the last month's take-in. And if it's this, then the fire was here, too, so it could be part of it. we got regular customers that heard this and never quit coming, you know. I mean, people that like the mayor back there. And, and art, they hear every day, I can count on them. They ain't worried about it. And that's about all I got to say about it is I'm going to stick with him through it. I mean, I stuck this far, and as long as we can pay the rent, we're going to stick. Even if a restaurant employee did have AIDS, the establishment's customers have nothing to worry about, said Barbara Burchett, AIDS coordinator for the Upper Cumberland region. There's never been a single case of casual transmission, and... Uh, by casual transmission, we mean touching someone or using the same phone or the same bathroom. Or uh, This virus just is not out in the environment like that. You don't get it from swimming in the same pool, swimming pool uh, with other people. Uh, insects, like mosquitoes, do not transmit. 
it. What I'm really mad about is it took me 28 years to get my life together. And then number 29, they come and start this only. And I finally, everybody in this town knows me, knows what kind of reputation I had. And when I finally, you know, everybody, everybody's wild when they're young. And when I decide to straighten up, then they start something like this and ruin everything I've worked hard to get. So I just, uh, I just hope it don't happen to anybody else. Unfortunately, it will. Mosher says he's tired of all the media interviews and just wants the rumors to finally die down. Then possibly, he hopes, his life will return to normal. For Upper Cumberland, I'm Dan Bach.